All right, it's burger review evening. Filming a day before we post uh, Aaron Potter, Aaron Potter Homes, Remax Heritage. Doing burger review. This is Joel Lewis, Smoke and Trees Barbecue. Smoked KC Rub. What does the AP stand for? I meant to ask All you. All purpose. All purpose rub. Got one to take home for myself. I've seen good reviews of this. Uh, a little backstory Joel and I went to high school together, but didn't really know each other. Um, I graduated with his sister. Shout out to Lauren. Hi. She was my age. Um, stumbled through Facebook, social media, realized he's killing the barbecue scene, competition scene, and also making an amazing amount of rub. And I'm gonna turn it over to you and tell me, tell people how this started, this rub. I uh, just started just messing around in, uh, in the kitchen. And I probably went through 10, 15 bags of zi gallon Ziploc bags yeah. that I threw in the trash that was just nothing. And I finally eventually landed on what I thought was good and um, the uh, quarantine hit and I was bored so I decided I was going to go ahead and Makes pull sense. the plug on or the trigger on getting this going and so before I ever even got labeling or anything done I was you're selling I was I was selling it I was selling it before I even had any made I sold how much 85 of them the first day I started selling it and now you said you're up to how many you think give or take uh, give or take I've sold probably about 600 since the end of March <sighs> that's crazy so it's on this burger what else is on this burger we got a pretzel bun we've got a pretzel bun we've got butcher's blend uh, burger which is from uppercut KC they got voted uh, best burger in Kansas City okay um, fried onion straws mm. um, some uh, jalapenos which are also mm. some charred jalapenos like um, a barbecue bl sauce blend. that is a blend of meat mitch womp sauce and um, Tennessee red from Blue's Hog alright and the meat from and Uppercut and the cheese is Havarti and Sharp Hardy, American huh? interesting I haven't had one with Havarti you are today Alright, I'm going to dive into this. Uh, ironically enough, you're very close to a house of mine, not me, but a buyer of mine under contract right on uh, 91st Street, uh, just a couple miles away. Uh, so if you're looking to buy or sell, let me know. Uh, North Lane, Leaf Summit, anywhere, but those are the two specialties. This looks pretty awesome. I almost said some bad words. Alright, we're going to try this. Uh, zero to ten. We're going to see. So, my first thought is that I love crunch. Okay, me too. So this like takes every element of that with bacon, the onion straws, but the fact that we can, I can still taste the beef and the rub through it, probably some testament on you, but. When you can hear it, things are good. Mm-hmm. That's I'm, really I'm pretty I'm good, a man. man myself. They're really good. You don't have that texture going on. I'm gonna try to get a jalapeno in here. <laughs> well, mm hmm. That was really freaking good. <laughs> sure, you want to start selling these? You don't know. You never know. You never know. You um, never know what's gonna happen. The you're right. With a crunch, like a lot of burgers that I have are just there's nothing. Essentially, there's nothing to them. It's regular meat. There's not like any, it's maybe salt or pepper if you're lucky. There's no crunch. This is fantastic, dude. So I didn't tell you this off camera because I can tell you now. I don't love pretzel buns, but it goes with it. Like it doesn't, a lot of pretzel buns, I think overpower them. Yeah. They get too thick and it doesn't equate. Like it just doesn't work. This is, dude, this is legit. I was gonna go with a brioche, but I cook. Brioche, brioche bush um, buns a lot, and I just I wanted. I saw to, you toast it on the grill. It's always an A plus move. Yeah, but put some butter on the yep underneath side, good there, and then and then yeah with the rub, it just it's that all purpose. It's just it's, it's yeah. Once you can taste it on its own by itself, yeah. Let me know, but it's a uh, it's sweet and salty, it's good, and dude. it's got a little bit of heat. It's got I can taste it a little bit of heat. It's not the jalapeno because I can. I mean, I, I like heat, but I can taste it coming through still. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's really good. Um, real quick, talk about so smoking trees barbecue. Talk about that a little bit. You 
started, he told me in 2015, competition barbecue. Yeah, explain to the viewers that. Uh, How you started so, in that. So I re I mean, I I'm going to eat this. So. Regularly, I, I, so originally I just started cooking in a little master built um, uh, electric smoker mm -hmm. that most oh, everybody cool. starts out smoking with and started just developing a love for cooking barbecue and then it kind of graduated and even more you know I'll, I'll cook anything I, I just like to get creative with whatever right and then me and brad harrison decided that we wanted to start competing now mm -hmm. we don't compete on any level of what a lot of these teams compete i mean these guys are doing upwards 40 50 competitions a year right. we're doing I mean, this year we've only done one obviously <laughs> thanks for covid right. but um we typically do about four a year, and over the past couple of years, we've slowly started um, getting calls in top tens and stuff. Uh, we uh, we had had a call in top ten in every category: chicken, ribs, um, pork butt, and we That's hadn't awesome. had one in brisket until our last contest nice. last year, and uh, we, we pulled an eighth place brisket call there. So our goal now is to hit a top ten overall. Sure. Um, so pretty tough Keep to do doing usually it. a field yeah. of about 50 teams or so, um, so you're talking top 20 percent then yeah so right. uh, it's fun yeah um, when you get older you, you don't you don't you don't play baseball anymore you don't play basketball <laughs> right? anymore the, but you still got that competition in your blood so uh, yeah I mean it's a way it's I've always dreamed of doing it I am and my dad was a, he was not that level but he did a really good home barbecue and I've always said I'm gonna try it and someday and someday maybe I will I might be 55 and retired. That'd be great. And do this, but dude, this is good. So where do, okay, tell people real quick, where do we find your rub? Smoking Trees Barbecue on Instagram. You Instagram, got like six pages. Facebook. I've got like my own. Yeah, my own no, no, them all out. Yeah. My own personal on Instagram and Facebook. I got Smoking Trees Barbecue on Facebook and Instagram. And then I've got Smoked on Instagram and on Facebook. I also have a website for that, which is... Um, smokecokc.com see the nice use of the kc smart i like it um if you go to either of my uh either of my social media pages you'll find a link to to that website so i'm people will think i'm just saying this because i'm right next to you i'm a pretty honest and brutal person this is a top five burger i've ever had i was, I was hoping it is hoping legit that. uh 9.0 it is amazing good job dude I appreciate you doing this. Let me invade your house. Like We're in the back. Like is that, this is his first. I think this is the first review of his I've seen that wasn't at a restaurant. So this is the first homemade. I think besides my own house, which I made my own. I go for like the more. You went for like the whole like barbecue style burger. I went for like when I did it at home. I did like a couple of COVID. I call them COVID reviews because I couldn't do anything for a couple weeks. And so I made them just skillet. You know, electric skillet. Not the best way I know. But got a little bit of char on it, but I might went for the more classic, like just mayonnaise, pickle, ketchup, mustard, which I like. This is like a mix of like a Western with like the onion straws, like barbecue, but it's not over, like, that thing is it's not overpowering. You still taste the beef. Mm. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a couple, so I've got a couple others on my, on my page, on my social media pages. Um, I've got a, a coleslaw one that I did mm. that was a, a apple cider vinegar based coleslaw with dill pickles and mm -hmm. um some some chuck and a uh, brisket that i had ground myself i have a grinder yeah and uh and i did that and then i also have i have a couple other go-to's i have during morel season i had this year i made one that i had saw that fried morels on i it, saw that and that was pretty legit too yeah. that would be a hit i'm gonna try that one <laughs> all right we'll wrap it up i'm gonna finish this uh thanks again for doing it i appreciate it yeah we'll uh problem. we'll wrap it up we're gonna have to post some behind the scenes pictures a little bit uh, in the comments and yeah. Wrap it up, see you guys later, have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.